Hello everyone, it's PC Helper here and today I'm going to show you how to fix lagging and increase FPS for the game Mass Effect Legendary Edition. In the beginning only I want you all to know that instead of focusing on in-game graphics settings that you can change to reduce lag, I'll be focusing more on things that you can do to improve your PC's overall gaming performance. As graphics settings changes from PC to PC depending on your graphics card, so it is better to focus on other aspects too. So we'll be focusing on those aspects only. So just make sure that you stick to the end of this video and perform all the steps very carefully and I can assure you that your game's performance will surely be enhanced. And I want you all to know in the beginning of this video only that I only keep limited games in the PC I use for recording purpose. So I will use the game NB2K20 to demonstrate what you have to do with your game Mass Effect Legendary Edition. So just do the exact same things I'll do for the game NB2K20 to your game Mass Effect and you'll definitely see a visible difference in performance after that. Just before starting I would like to thank you all as we recently completed 12k subscribers and it means a lot to me. So if you haven't subscribed yet then please hit that subscribe button now for regular gaming content. Having said that now let's get started with the first step. So the first step is a really important one and I consider it to be the necessary one before performing any further steps. So in this step we will be clean booting our PC and what clean booting does is it refreshes all the components of your PC and helps in resolving any software conflicts in your PC too. So if you don't know how to clean boot your PC, don't worry, I have already made a 4 minutes guide on how to do so. So I'll provide you the link of this video in the description. Just watch this video, clean boot your PC and proceed to the further steps. And if you already know how to clean boot your PC, then just clean boot your PC and then proceed to the second step. This step is again a really important one. In this step what you have to do is you just have to change graphic settings. So on your Windows 10 PC, search for graphic settings and go to this option, graphic settings. As you can see, you, have, you are seeing hardware accelerated GPU scheduling. You just have to turn it on. By default it is on off and you have to restart your, your PC to apply your changes. But if you are using earlier version of Windows 10 or if you are using Windows 7 then you won't be having this option. So in the upcoming steps I'll be showing you how you can manually change these settings for your particular graphic card for Nvidia or AMD graphic card. So if you are having this option then well and good otherwise you can just follow the upcoming steps and just skip this step. And here you just have to make sure you select a desktop app and you have to now browse for your projectcast3.exe project file. So the PC I'm using for recording is not having this game Project Cast 3. So I'll be showing you with the example of another game. So I'll be showing you with the example of NBA 2K20. So just add it here. You have to do the same with Project Cast 3.exe. And here you have to go to options. And here you have to make sure you select high performance. That is NVIDIA GeForce GTX 1650. That's my graphic card. And you have to make sure that it is on your dedicated graphic card. Save these settings, restart your PC and your game's performance will surely be boosted. Now let's proceed to the next step. So this step is specifically for those users who are not able to change graphic settings in Windows 10 as they are having earlier version of Windows 10 or Windows 7. So don't worry, you just have to right click on your desktop and go to Nvidia control panel. And if you are having AMD dedicated graphic card, then you just have to go to AMD settings. So I'll be showing for Nvidia users only and you have to do the same in your AMD Catalyst control center if you have an AMD graphic card. So here make sure that you are in your program settings and not in global settings because they are both two different things and I've made a separate video to for best global settings for Nvidia control panel for best gaming experience. So you can check that out. I'll provide the link of that video in the description. But on in this video, we'll only be concentrating on program settings. So here you have to select your game, whichever game you are playing, whether it be Project Cars 3, Wasteland 3 or Made in NFL 21, whichever game you are playing. But on the PC I'm using for recording, I don't have any of these games. So I'll be showing you with the example of NB2K20 again. So you have to select the .exe file of your game, whichever you want to select here and make sure it is running on high performance Nvidia processor. And once you have done it, you have to scroll down and you have to go to power management mode. And I have already changed the settings, but by default it is on optimal power. You have to make sure it is on prefer maximum performance. And once you have done it, you have to apply these settings. So that's it. So we have done the same thing that we've done when we changed the graphic settings in Windows 10 settings. But this time we have manually done with the help of our graphic card settings. So once you've done it, now let's proceed to the next step. In this step, we'll be changing some of the advanced setting in our PC. So what you have to do is you just have to open your explorer and make sure you right click on your this PC and go to its properties. Once you are in here, you have to go to advanced system settings. In advanced system settings, go to performance settings. As you can see performance and go to performance settings here and the first step here this step is divided into two halves so the first step is adjust it for best performance by default it's on let's let window choose what's best for your computer but you have to adjust it for best performance and apply these settings once you have done it it will take some time to apply these settings and will be applied throughout your pc once you have applied these settings then proceed to the second half 
So the second half of this step is go to advanced here. As you can see in advanced, you can see programs. Do you, have, you don't have to select background services. You have to select programs here. And now you have to click on change. Now you have to deselect it. As you can see by default, it is on automatically manage paging file size for all drives. You have to deselect it and you have to select the drive in which your game is installed. So I only have one drive in my PC, but if you're having multiple drives, you just have to select the drive in which your game is installed. So now you have to select custom size and you have to init the initial size should be equal to recommended size. So as you can see, recommended is 1896 MB. So I'll just enter 1896 here, but the maximum size should be equal to your PC's RAM. So I'll open the calculator for it, as you can see. And if you have 8 GB of RAM, you just have to multiply 8 by 1024 and enter this number here. As you can see, 8192 because I have 8 GB of RAM. But if you're having 16 GB of RAM, what you have to do is you just have to multiply 16 by 1024 and enter 16384 here instead of 8192. And if you're having 12 GB of RAM, for example, so 12 into 1024. So you have to enter 12288 here in the maximum size. And you'll significantly see a boost in your gaming performance once you have applied this setting and restarted your PC. So apply these settings, click on OK. The changes you have made require you to restart your computer before they can take effect. So click on OK, apply these settings, again click on OK and that's it for this step. Restart your PC now and you'll again see a significant boost. Now I'll proceed to the next step. Now this step will provide a temporary boost to your PC's performance as in this step we'll be deleting all the temporary files. So you just have to open run app here and here you have to search for temp which stands for temporary files. Click OK and here as you can see I have 19 files. I've recently deleted all the files here but still I have 19 files. So if you have not deleted your temporary files in a long time then you might be having a lot of files here. So make sure to delete them permanently and once you have done it apply here click on continue and delete them. There might be some files which were not, which you or PC will not be able to delete because they might be used in some of the background processes. So just skip them. Now what you have to do is you again have to click on run here and here write percentage sign temp temp again and again the percentage sign as you can see here. Click on OK and again as you can see I have 169 temporary items and don't worry these are all junk files just like cache memory and just delete all the files here too. It will take some time to be deleted as you can see and here skip all the files which are not being deleted. Skip these files and now we will be going to the last temporary folder that is in local disk C and here go to windows. Here go to prefetch. As you can see prefetch folder, click on continue and here all, all these files are temporary files. I just don't like deleting this ready boot folder so I won't be deleting it but this is also a junk folder so don't worry just delete this too and again permanently delete this and once you have done it skip the files which are not being deleted and don't worry again I am saying don't worry these are all junk files so just delete them and then try running your game and it will provide a temporary boost to your PC's performance. In this step we will be changing priority of this game and as I've already told you that I'm not having this game on the PC I'm using for recording. So I'll again show you with the example of NB2K20 what to do in this step. So just run your game with whichever launcher you want, Origin, Steam, anyone and just minimize it. So once you're in this in-game, you just have to press Windows plus D key or Alt plus Tab key and minimize your game. As you can see my game is running in the background and you have to go to your task manager by right clicking on your taskbar and selecting task manager. And you have to select your game whichever you want to select here. So I'm using NB2K20 as an example and you have to go to its details and here select its exe file and set its priority to high and change priority and it will put maximum of your PC power in running this game so this step is really important you will see a significant boost after applying this step so that's it for this step now let's proceed to the next step this step is again a really important one in this step we'll be updating our PC's drivers so most of you might be thinking that this step is not important as you have already updated your graphic card, already updated your windows, but trust me that's not enough because most of your drivers which are used while gaming including your display adapter, your network adapters, your keyboard and mouse adapters, they are not updated regularly with the help of windows update. So what you have to do is you have to download any third party software which helps in scanning and updating or updating all these drivers one by one. So you can download any of the drivers from Google as you can see many options are available here. But if you are not able to 
figure out which software to download here. Then I've already made a video on one such software named Driver Booster 7. So I'll provide you the link of this video in the description if you want. Or you can select any other software from Google. But in this soft video, I've shown how to download it, how to install it and how to use this driver booster software. And here we have some other options in fixing some things which appear in game like fix no sound issue, fix device error, fix network failure, fix bad resolution. So these are some of the additional features with this driver booster. So you can watch this video, download this software, update your drivers and most probably after performing all the steps which I've shown in this video, your problem will be fixed. So I believe that is it for this video and also make sure to watch my other videos on topics like Nvidia control panel best settings for best gaming experience. In this video I have shown all the global settings you have to change in your Nvidia control panel to get the most out of your Nvidia graphic card. I have also made video on smart game boosters advanced setup as I have mentioned in one of the previous steps also that it is the most important step. This game booster is a really good one. So I hope this helped you. If this worked for you then please leave a like. If you have any doubt write in the comment section. And also don't forget to subscribe to PC Helper for regular gaming content. Thank you and have a nice day.